All right, Shalom, Shalom. So we're back, giving all the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'rakat Kadash, double honors to the others and apostles, the great millstone. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is, therefore, now no condemnation to them which are in Amashayak Yahushai. We walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So we are not justified ourselves by the works of the flesh, by the outward appearance, the law being an example of a bringing in of a better hope, which is through the voice of the Lord, through the prophecies that has been spoken of throughout all the Holy Bible. Book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 10. Acts 15 and 10. Now therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of his disciples? Neither our fathers were able to bear. But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Kabashai, Mashayak, we shall be saved even as they. Because this is about the works of, of, of the Spirit, the understanding of the things that will come to pass in these latter days, which was why Paul the Apostle said in Romans chapter 9, that they who are thou that replies against God, because you had wicked Pharisees teaching to separate from these Israelite foreigners, or because they did not continue in the works of the law, which they called them heathens, Gentiles, just like our people today, but we are not relying on the works of the flesh. This is about faith and as well as works, but knowing mainly the counsel of the Lord, which is in the form of World War III coming, martial law, FEMA camps, the RFID chick, which is the mark of the beast, being mandated throughout the whole earth, world economic collapse, great division, like it was spoken of in the time of Yahushai, you call Jesus Christ. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 15. Hebrews 10, 15. Whereof the Holy Ghost is also witness unto us, whereafter that he had said before. This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their hearts and in their minds will I write them. In their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. For the most of God said what? That our sins and iniquities he is not going to remember. So we're still going to sin. We're still going to go off. The law is not going to justify us. But we believe keeping the righteous works of the law, rehearsing the righteous acts, like it says in the Holy Bible. But there's a reason why they said the, the disciples and the apostles said, why put a yoke on our fathers which we were not able to bear? Hebrews chapter 10, verse 18. Now, where remission of these is, the rich, the more offered for sin, having therefore, brother, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Yahweh Shai, by a new and living way which he has consecrated, consecrated for us through the veil that is to say his flesh. And the new living way is why the scriptures say that I will raise up a prophet amongst you, and he will, I will put my words in his mouth, which is what Hamashayat, Yahushai spoke about, when you call Jesus Christ. And he said what would happen in the latter days. There would be division, there would be wars, rumors of wars, which is why you have Russia, NATO, talking of using nuclear weapons. God and Magog is being raised up 
in these latter days, Ezekiel chapter 38, which is Russia, China, Iran. World War III is coming. World economic collapse is coming quickly. Famine is coming to planet Earth. Martial law, be mechanics. Thermal nuclear fire is coming to America, Babylon the Great. Two thirds of our people, the so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, will take the RFID chip and die in the land of their captivity. Why? Because our people are foolish, stiff necked. The scriptures call our people a seed of evil doers. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart, full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from, from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water, which the Holy Bible says, the washing of the water of the word, receiving the understanding. No, the things that are coming, Our body chip, World War III, martial law, FEMA camps, world economic, economic collapse, central bank digital currencies, the so-called white man attempting to brand the melanated nations like animals. Hebrews 10 to 25, not forsaken, the assembly of ourselves together as a manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. The day is approaching, like it says in the book of Malachi, that will burn as an oven. Thermonuclear fire coming to America, the remnant being delivered in the second coming of who you call Jesus Christ by the holy angels, which are the UFOs that you read about in the Holy Bible. But like I said, you gotta have that man of sin being revealed, a great falling away. Then you're gonna have all hell breaking loose, martial law, FEMA camps, great destruction. Why? Because the Lord said that the wickedness of the of this of the bloody city, America Babylon the Great, has reached unto the heavens. Jeremiah chapter seven, verse twenty one. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifice, and eat flesh, for I spake not unto you. Your fathers will commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people, and walk in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well with you. So the law was given by Moses, Grace was given through Hamashayat, Yahushai. And we receive grace in these latter days to prepare for a second coming, which is what he spoke about, which will come in the form of what? First, Lord our body chip being mandated throughout the whole earth. Gog and Magog, which is being raised up right now, which is Russia, China, Iran, which will come against America, Babylon, and Great, and destroy with thermonuclear fire. So it's not just about the works of the flesh, the outward man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said, What? Circumcise your heart. The scriptures say, In the land of their captivity, they will know my name and call upon it. Jeremiah 7 and 22, For I speak not to your fathers, nor commanded them in the day 
that I brought them out in the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing, command that I then say, obey my voice, and I will be your God. Ye shall be my people, and walk ye in all the ways that I commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear, nor walk in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward, not forward. So there is that voice of the Lord again, which is talking about counsel that he will make manifest in these latter days. Those that will prophesy the end. Those that would expose the works of the wicked. Expose the works of these other Hebrews like heads. Those of our own people that have sold out in order to what? Enjoy sin for a season. All these things are going to be cut short. As you see, new revelations, new understandings given out. And in 2022, if you don't see what is happening around you and around the whole earth, you're either you're either hopefully ignorant or you just don't give a damn. Samuel chapter 15 verse 20 Saul said unto Samuel yeah I have obeyed the voice of the Lord and have gone the way which the Lord sent me and I and I brought Agag the king of Amalek and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites but the people took of the spoil the sheep and oxen the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed sacrifice to the Lord thy God in Gilgal. And Samuel said, Had the Lord the great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as he sinned the witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord he had also rejected thee for being king so because uh, King Saul did not do exactly what was commanded which was the whole point wasn't about offering up a burnt sacrifice which you see these other Hebrew Israelite camps doing delighting in the outward appearance delighting in, in the, the, the highest seats in the, in, the, in the feast days. Their titles delighted in delighted in their fancy garments. The scripture said what? The outside sackcloth. We wouldn't speak without God. What does it say in the book of Isaiah? That if you offer up an unclean sacrifice, it is as if you slew a man. So these other camps, their sacrifices are unclean. And they're going to be destroyed for not giving our people the whole understanding what the, about what the RFID chip is. The time of the coming of martial law, FEMA camps, World War III, world economic collapse, central bank digital currencies, all hell breaking loose in America, Babylon the Great. So Deuteronomy 18, 15. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet for the mess of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, to him you shall hearken according to all that thou desirest for thy God and horse. In the day of the assembly say, let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see this great fire anymore, that I die not. Do 
Deuteronomy 18 and 18. I will raise up unto them a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, who will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them. All that I shall command him, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken to my words, she will speak in my name. I will require it of him. So it's not just about the works of the flesh. It's about the bringing in of a better hope. The latter day prophecies, which Amashaya, Yahusha spoke about, that would happen at the end of the so-called white man's reign, at the beginning of the world of Jacob, the coming of the RFID chip, martial law, be mechanics, world economic collapse, central bank digital currencies, which lead unto the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 6 and the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 4. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord. Take away the foreskins of your heart. You men of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire, and burn that none can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. <laughs> Chapter 10, verse 20. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that these spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So these are the 70 that Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, sent out. He gave a power over these spirits, over the devils. So it says, notwithstanding this rejoice not, that these spirits which are the subject unto you, so rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So we're not rejoicing the outward man. We're not rejoicing the fact that the Most High God, the Haobah Shem Shai, His word is a strong tower, and it's dreadful among the heathens. But we rejoice in the fact that we know His counsels, and the word of the elect, our names will be written in heaven. Book of Micah, chapter 3, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth, and cry peace, and he that put it not into their mouths, they even prepare war against him. Therefore, night shall be unto you, that you shall not have a vision, and it shall be dark unto you, that you shall not divine, and the sun shall go down over the prophets, 
in the day should be dark over them. Same thing you read about in Zechariah 13. Every prophet being ashamed in their own vision in that day. Those that are speaking out of their own mind. Why? Because the Lord is going to forward his works and make a short work upon the earth. Micah 3 and 7. Then shall these seers be ashamed, and the diviners confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips, but there is no answer of God. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of judgment, and of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgression, and to Israel his sin. So in that day, these false pastors, these other Hebrews and like camps, they're going to be confounded, and they are being found liars in these latter days. This is Revelation 21 and 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Which is talking about the remnant that get delivered out of the American Babylonic rape, descending from heaven, meaning they're going to come out of a, of a giant chariot, so-called UFO, will be given spiritual power. To set order back on planet Earth. Revelation 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice from heaven say, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. He will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. What is the tabernacle for most like God is talking about the men? So all these things that were written in the law are just a foreshadowing of the things that will come to pass in the latter days. Chapter 8, verse 11. Now, the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil, taking the way, the word, out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. So you're going to have distractions in these latter days. Those that sell out, bread and circus, like the ancient Roman Empire, gifts being given out. Why? Because all these things are to distract you from receiving sound doctrine, true understanding of the prophecies that would come to pass in these latter days. These are the things that we're telling you that are coming in the prophesied in the Holy Bible. The mark of the beast, Revelation 13 and 16. Martial law, FEMA camps, world economic collapse, central bank digital currencies, which will lead to the RFID chip. God can make God being raised up to come against America, Babylon, the great, to burn it with thermonuclear fire. So we're asking you to seek the most high God, why still may be found. Call upon his name, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and 
seek the prophecies of the Holy Bible, so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. Through chapter 8, verse 13, they, on the rock are they, which, when they hear, you see the word, rejoice. These have no root, which, for a while, believe, and in time of temptation, fall away. Like can like IUIC, which now they say the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. They claim to have the rock, but their rock is, is white Jesus. Because they're still calling on the name. His name is Yahweh Shai, Amashayat. He was a Hebrew from the tribe of Judah. So it says, Luke 8 and 13, they on the rock are they, which when they hear, you see the word, rejoice. These have no root, which for a while believe, at a time, temptation, fall away. So these other camps are not preparing their people for that hour, which is the hour of temptation, which are going to be presented with our body chip. They're going to fall in that day. Be snared and be taken. Many, the so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are going to take our body chip and die in the land of their captivity. And all these things are coming and are being hastened as most I got to show you. He's raising up God, May God, which is Russia, China, Iran. Talks of war, wars in the midst of the earth. Talks of thermonuclear weapons being used. These are the signs of the second coming of the Mashiach, the Abu Shai, who called Jesus Christ. The Iron prophesied to our people, the 12 tribes of Israel, which are the Israelites, the so called black, Hispanic, Native Americans. We give them more honor to the others of the gospel, the great mother's soul. Luke chapter 8, verse 14. And that which fell among thorns are they, which when they have heard, go forth and are true, with cares, riches, pleasures of this life, to break the fruit to perfection. Luke 8 and 15, but that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having received, heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Scripture say to what measure the time diligently in itself. Know what times that you're in. Watch as well as pray that you live to see the coming of the Son of Man, Amashayak, Yahweh Shai. chapter 8, verse 18. Take heed, therefore, how you hear, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken, even that which you seem to have, which is why scriptures say, to much is given, much will be required. Meaning what? You're supposed to receive the sound doctrine and give out as much as you receive. But these other cats are guilty of hypocrisies, of not giving the whole understanding of the whole book. Which is why the scriptures say what? That he who knows the will of the Lord shall be beaten with many stripes. And he who knows the least shall be beaten with.